In today's video, we're going to be working on the twist, which is a basic boondoggle, gimp, easy lacing camp craft that you can do at home or really anywhere. It's a nice on-the-go project uh, for keychains, key rings, you can make jewelry out of it if you can bend it right. It's a really easy, super awesome stitch that creates this really pretty, almost spirally like format. This is uh, my second video on GIMP. I will be making two more on the double box and the spiral. The spiral uses this same technique of going uh, in one direction versus another instead of the box in order to make the spiral. It's a very large, uh, basically it's twice, three times, depending on how many uh, cords you're using, as thick as this one. So in order to do this, I used super easy white and pink. I used contrasting colors because contrasting colors are going to give you, uh, it's going to make it a lot easier for you to figure out where your uh, gimp is and where your um, knotting is supposed to go. So I'm using hot pink and I'm using white because they don't look like each other a lot. It's just going to make things a lot easier when you're working on it. You can do it with the same color, I just don't recommend it because it makes it a lot harder for you to see where your strings are going. It just gets you all tangled up. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start your gimp, you're going to need two separate types of gimp. Boondoggle, whatever you call it. First, you're going to take it, and I always wrap it around the finger to start. I make sure that this part right here is a little bit shorter than the other end, and then I take the longer end and wrap it around again. So we've now wrapped our whatever color, it doesn't matter which one, uh, around our finger, or gimp with whatever our main color is, doesn't really matter, they are interchangeable, uh, around my finger twice. So, then, to, this is just a start. You take your secondary color, whatever it is, and you go under both of those. You pull it until they are even. These are roughly even, there we go. Next, you're going to take this, your right uh, side of your pink here. You're gonna go over the one that's extended here and go under this secondary piece right here. So over and under, like so. And you'll pull like there. Now you're gonna take your left piece and you're gonna go over your other piece that you went into next time, last time, you're going to go over and under on the top. Then you're going to very carefully take them off of your fingers, and you'll notice they're crisscrossed, and pull tight. So now you'll have a piece that either has a big bump on top, or you can work over that big bump and have a top that looks like the crisscrossing here. I personally like how this looks a lot better, but if you have a uh, keychain that you'd like to add, this is a lot easier to add a keychain to. So I'm going to do a basic stitch here where um, I'm going to just cover this part and make it even real quick, just because I don't like how that looks, personally. So now that I've started it, I'm going to tighten that again. I am now going to take this string. We're going to pull that over and go across. This is different than the typical uh, box stitch where you go forward, you're going to the side here. So in my last video we were going just across, here we're going to the side. Now we're going to take this other white, it does not matter what color you choose as long as you just stick with the same color, and you're going to go to the other side here. Now this pink piece right here you're going to want to go over this piece and into the loop that you made with your other piece right there. You're going to take your other string and go over the piece that you just went into and into the loop on the other side as I pull it out. It's hard to do this when you're looking through a viewfinder. There we go. Over and into the loop. So you've made a loop here. Now you're going to pull tight. 
You're going to take all of them. I like to pull on each of them, so I've got this one on this finger, this one on this finger, and this one over here. I pull them all at the same time, kind of wiggle it as I go, making that nice and tight. Excuse my cold, I have a cold. So now you've got this nice boxy looking stitch on the top and it's going to start going to the side. So I'm going to do that again where I go to this side and then I go to that side. I take my one across from here and go over and under and then I take this one and go over and under. I'm going to pull all of them, those big loops, nice and tight. And you'll notice that when you're stitching, you're literally twisting the work as you go. It is going from here to here, and the next one will go over as you can tell. So that's what you're doing, is you're twisting it and going around and around. So again, to the side, to the side, You take this one from close to you and go over and under. You take the other one and you go over and under. So basically you're going to the corners instead of the sides. So I'm going to do this a little bit longer and I'll show you what that looks like at the end and I'll be right back. But that's basically all there is to the twist when you're doing GIMP. Super easy, super simple. I would teach kids how to do this at summer camp all the time. Be right back. So the more you go down here, the uh, more you're going to start seeing your pattern develop. You're going to see it go down and kind of spiral, like I said in the beginning. And here is where uh, your tails are going to start getting smaller. You're going to want to keep pulling. So to end this, a lot of the times you can either go through your previous work, like go through your previous stitch here. Or what I like to do is honestly I'll just take this and I'll burn my end and I'll add the key ring off the top. Super easy, super easy peasy, you just keep going in the same format over and over again. And that's really all there is to it. If you like this video be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel so that you can be uh, in the know whenever I post my double box video and my spiral uh, gimp video. Um, I plan on posting a lot more now that uh, it's summertime and I'm not working 60 hours a week. I'm hoping to post a skitty tutorial and a different version of a Pikachu tutorial. So like I'm not going to do the flat cat style as much as I am going to be working on a upright version of Pikachu. Alright, until next time guys, bye!